All right, guys, so we're talking about attack angle right now. Um, attack angle is just how up you swing or how down you swing right before contact. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and just get like to your half turn position, basically, right before the ball. Yep. Boom, boom, boom. So basically, attack angle is just measuring like how up we're swinging before contact or how down we're swinging before contact. All right? Really simple. A um, couple things that govern attack angle. Number one. Uh, depth. If you hit the ball way out in front, it's going to be going up more. So you might have like a 25 if you hit it way, way out in front. All right? This is why a lot of people's like longest home runs are ones that catch way out in front. You know, their bat's going up a lot and the ball just goes. All right? If you hit the ball more deep, you're going to be swinging up less. Right? So you'll be closer to zero or whatever. Okay? I will be completely honest on this. I don't care what your attack angle is. If you're if you're good at hitting, like this is a no touch, right? Like if you're swinging up at a 25 and you find the barrel all the time, great, do that. If you swing at a zero, find the barrel all the time, great, do that. We just want you to be good at baseball, right? But if your on-field results aren't what you want, okay? then it is something we can work on and it's a pretty easy thing to adjust and work on, all right? So, what would be ideal? So let's let's talk about like an ideal attack angle. Generally, people that are really good are somewhere between five and 15. If we're swinging up at a 15, you're on the fringe of that being a little bit too up. If you're swinging up at a five, you're on the fringe of that being a little bit too down. But I have seen guys, especially at like lower levels, like, you know, 13U, 12U, 11U, I've seen guys and girls that swing very down that are very successful, right? Like negative numbers and they do great. So same thing, doesn't matter as long as the on-field results are what, what they want, okay? But if you wanna work on attack angle, here's a really simple thing that you can do in order to, to figure it out. So for us, attack angle is all just about establishing like trying to connect like what you feel with what's real okay so mike like i'm looking at his swings right now i see 10 12 14 so that's a pretty solid attack angle like this would not be someone who i'd really say anything to unless he was having trouble okay that said okay when we hit we want to be able to feel what our barrel is doing okay so we're going to play a game called negative 10 and zero 10. Cool. All right, so first one, you're just going to swing, and I want you to swing down. Yeah. And I want you to, on purpose, try to make that number say negative 10. Negative 10. All right, cool. Attack angle, 4 degrees. Okay, so that what that tells me is that Mike's down is not all that down. So let's try again. Let's see if we can get negative 10 again. Are you guys better? Give me one more? Yeah. You don't want to stick too long on this. So if he doesn't get perfect numbers in three, if he doesn't get to the number he wants in three, it's fine. Move on. Minus one. All right, cool. So like, what are you feeling like? Almost like you're like hitting a fungo short side? Yeah, yeah, I was trying to. Yeah, yeah for sorry, sure, sorry. for sure. And like it yeah. still was like a negative one. So now we're going to do a zero. Zero. Give me a zero. Okay. So basically the same thing. <laughs> same thing. Yeah. Let's do a 10. Cool. Seven. Okay, so seven's fine. Like that's, if, if we're in w within a couple degrees, then we're where we want to be, all right? 10 again. Yep, one more 10. Nine. Great. So that is the easiest way to move the needle on attack angle. Right? And it doesn't matter if you're someone that swings like two up or two down, right? Like you do that and you're going to be able to feel like, oh, that's what two down feels like. Oh, that's what perfectly level feels like. And that's what like swinging kind of the, not the right way, but like the, you know, the correct data way of swinging. 
is what it feels like. So do that and you'll be able to move the needle pretty consistently. If that doesn't work, then you probably have something going on with your rotation because generally people that rotate really well, like Mike, here, just turn your body really well and just hit this one. Okay. Like when, when you turn your body really well, it usually makes you swing up more. So go ahead and just hit this one. 17. 18. There you go. Pretty close. Yeah. So when I turn really well, I'm probably going to swing up more. When I turn a little not as well, I'll swing down more. So if you're struggling to get that 10 number and you can't get to the 10 number, then it's not a swing plane problem. It's a rotation problem and you got to fix that first. Once you rotate well, then you can start thinking about hands all the time. This is why so many big leaguers want to talk about hands all the time because they think that's the only thing that made them successful. These guys are elite rotators. They turn their body really, really well. And then when they think about their hands, they're already rotating like perfectly. So when they use their hands, it actually works for them. But if you can't get to 10, you gotta rotate better. That's the key here.